Hi there. I'm Chris Crookshank. I'm with Artistic Urns, and I'm an artist and a woodworker, wood turner, wood carver, and uh, we make beautiful, one of a kind art art pieces that serve as cremation urns. We think outside the box. We try to find solutions to uh, problems and hurdles that the funeral industry has. And uh, I have uh, uh, some special interests in my life. I'm a biker, and uh, I, I tend to migrate towards things like this. Oh, look at this. this Let is, me zoom in on this. It's, now, this is, that is the lid. This is the, oh. this is actually the urn itself is this oh little gosh. skull and his little biker helmet screws off and inside holds a small portion of cremains. Oh, too cool. And but then the remainder fits. of this vessel, you can uh -huh. put artifacts or a wedding band or something from your okay. loved ones to as a little keepsake. And, and the little together. guy fits back in there. It just like, so it looks like a little I piece of that. art you can put and, on your shelf. And if you hold it, hold it still, um, zooming in, you can see it's all skulls all around skulls, the outside. All the way around. That this is, is so inspired cool. by the catacombs in Paris oh. that I visited some 25 years ago. And was just uh, amazed that the, the, the artistry that went into resurrecting bones that were gathered from mass graves in the countryside and brought back underneath the city of Paris where they had excavated stone to build the city. And so they had these vast cav caverns underground mm -hmm. and they had these mass graves outside of, of town that were unsanitary. And so they came up with a plan to bring the bones back inside and they put them in in these arrangements and stack them with great love and great care. It was like a religious rite ceremony, what they did with the bones. And I visited them, went underground, spent some time in the catacombs, and uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's just one of those memories that stuck with me for many, many years. So, wow. anyways, I've started this little series of catacomb rooms. Well, and then you've got these others. This is the first one I did. Yeah, and this, so this is more of a full-size yeah. urn uh, for a, a full human cremains. Mm -hmm. And again, it's just the repeated, the repeated skull skulls around. There, yeah. and, um, and then this other version. With this is I just this is a hand top. hand burned pyrography on the flange. Nice. This is a separate piece of wood, black walnut with a cherry flange. All of our tops are threaded with Ooh. with with brass, Ooh. and so for a secure fit and, oh, and nice. finish. Okay. And uh, and then, we also do all these other oh, wonderful one-of-a-kind art now, pieces. What is this inlaid with? Um, this urn is a is an ambrosia maple burl. Wow. This is a, basically a bark inclusion, ah. which is a softer material, and so we enhance that, embellish it, and stabilize it with um, we crush semi-precious stone, and we mix that with epoxy resin, and we fill in those voids. The top is a little natural edge bowl that I did that uh, has a, a piece of stabilized um, maple, flame maple in it, that mm -hmm. actually looks like a little semi-precious gemstone. Mm -hmm. So, and, and here's whoops. my beer. Yeah, no. <laughs> and, um, but I'm just uh, looking at some of these other just incredibly this artistic. Is a, this is a series of urns that we created to go basically in these glass picture frames, which are a big trend in the industry right now. Uh -huh. People are spending hundreds of millions of dollars buying these glass front niches and putting them in cemeteries around the country. Oh. And I saw this as an opportunity for us to enhance the beauty both of the columbarium and to give people the option to, to put beautiful urns into a, a, a nice, meaningful long-term memorial. Or they could keep them around the house. Oh, yeah, that's been yeah. Our, historically yeah. has been our market where people take the urns home, put them yeah. in, in, in their art collection, and they just kind of, kind of disguise. They don't really, we make urns that don't typically look like urns. Yeah, they're works More of art. More organic shapes. And there's our very southwestern very looking south one. Very southwestern one, the one that looks like a gourd, or it was called yesterday a pear. So it, people it actually bought this like yesterday, they said it looks like a pear. <laughs> yeah. That's what they wanted. Um, Anyway, nice. Do you have a website? We do. It's artisticwoodurns.com, and we also have artisticpeturns.com because we sell a lot of pet pet urns for the uh, the pet lovers. Because pets are family too. Absolutely. So, Thank you. You're welcome.